Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. The four seeded Suns will take on the five seeded Clippers in the NBA playoffs in the first down. Let's break down the history between Kawhi Leonard and Kevin Durant in the playoffs. These two have faced off 20 times in the playoffs, and Kevin Durant averages 27.4 points per game against Kawhi Leonard, and Kawhi Leonard only averages 15.8 points per game when playing Kevin Durant in the playoffs, and this really is the main story and really sums up this history between these two in the playoffs and why I am so excited because these two have never even played each other in their prime for an extended period of time in a single playoff series, so this is really going to be a first for these two. Let me take you guys back to 2012, the very first time these two ever faced each other in the NBA playoffs and boy was it a banger you had a young Kevin Durant a young superstar in this league trying to capture his first ring trying to get to his first NBA finals but guess what you have this juggernaut Spurs team who have been ruling over the Western Conference for the better part of the 21st century with Greg Popovich Tim Duncan and company and this team was trying to reload after this core started to get a bit older and they started to lose some playoff series. And part of that move was drafting a young experimental wing, a guy who is really raw offensively, but a great defender. And I am, of course, talking about Kawhi Leonard out of San Diego State. Kawhi Leonard was a very young player at this point in his NBA career and really hadn't developed his offensive game yet. But even by 2012, this one-seeded Spurs team, this dominant juggernaut force in the Western Conference Finals, significantly used Kawhi Leonard coming off the bench and even starting in some starting lineups in 2012 as that really dominant wing defender and that was perfect for them going up against the two-seeded Thunder in the 2012 Western Conference Finals. Kawhi Leonard was really the key to this team winning this series because you had a perennial MVP candidate, a young superstar again in Kevin Durant. Well, what happened in their first playoff meeting? Kevin Durant and the star of Kevin Durant was really born. So the two-seeded Thunder significantly upset the one-seeded Spurs 4-2 to in this playoff series, and Kevin Durant hooped on Kawhi Leonard's head all series long, not only being the lead scorer for the Thunder, but being the lead scorer for any player in this series. He averaged 29.5 points per game, and he shot 53% from the field on Kawhi Leonard, a very bad defensive performance from Kawhi Leonard. And Kawhi himself Average 8.8 points per game on 48% from the field in this series. So solid efficiency, but really was not focusing on his offensive game at this time. Flash forward to 2017 and Kevin Durant failed to win a championship for the team that drafted him in the Oklahoma City Thunder. So he ended up signing with the Golden State Warriors going into the 2017 season in what is known as one of the most infamous signings in free agency history for any professional sport. The 2017 Warriors were expected to not only run through the regular season, beating every single team convincingly, but roll into the postseason having zero threat of being taken down whatsoever. They were supposed to have no threat to the West whatsoever. What has Kawhi Leonard been up to in this time? Well, last time we saw him up against Kevin Durant, he had beaten KD a couple times in the playoffs with the Spurs, but he still was just kind of a role player out there. Those Spurs teams started to get the better of those young Thunder teams, but now Kawhi Leonard in 2017 has emerged as a superstar player in his own right after Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, and company started to age. Kawhi Leonard blossomed into a great offensive player. And to me, 2017 Kawhi Leonard is one of my favorite players of all time and one of the best two-way players in NBA history, game in and game out, giving you an efficient 25 points per game on one end and giving you lock-up all-time great defense on the other end. Again, if you've never watched 2017 Kawhi Leonard and are just used to him now sitting out after every single back-to-back, not playing 100% on defense and still playing great offense, but not shooting as much, man, watch some 2017 Kawhi Leonard. He was absolutely phenomenal this year and he had the Golden State Warriors and Kevin Durant 
on the ropes. Like I just alluded to, there was no competition in the West, but maybe there was because there were the 2017 Spurs, a team that was an insane home team that year and won 61 games, which is nothing to scoff at. And guess what? In the 2017 Western Conference Finals, in Game 1, the Spurs were up 25 points and Kawhi Leonard was really giving it to Kevin Durant and the significant narrative was building up. Hey, is Kawhi Leonard better than Kevin Durant? A guy who has the superstar team up against a guy who just has a good system with a good coach but no superstars around him is just absolutely dogging this dominant Golden State Warriors team? Well, we never saw this question answered considering in the late third quarter Zaza Pachulia injured Kawhi Leonard after Kawhi Leonard went up for a jump shot Zaza Pachulia went into Kawhi Leonard's landing zone and Kawhi Leonard's left leg was completely compromised and that is the same exact injury that has plagued Kawhi Leonard's career ever since that moment so they went from a 25 point lead to losing that game and the Golden State Warriors ended up absolutely in embarrassing and destroying the Spurs to advance to the NBA Finals where Kevin Durant ended up winning his first championship and ended up winning his second championship as well the year later. Flash forward to 2019 and Kawhi Leonard has found a new team. It's going to be the Toronto Raptors and he meets his foe Kevin Durant again this time in the NBA Finals for the very first time. But guess what? Kevin Durant this time is the guy that's injured as Kevin Durant missed the first four games with a very sore Achilles. Kevin Durant went into Game 5 healthy and ready to give it to Kawhi Leonard. And man, he was starting to answer some of those questions we had. Oh, is maybe Kawhi Leonard better than Kevin Durant? Considering he's doing so much better with a worse team. Well, now it was time for Kevin Durant to return the fire. As Kevin Durant came out in Game 5 looking absolutely incredible. Looking like the best player in that series, but... Kevin Durant ended up tearing his Achilles in the second quarter. The Raptors were already up in that series 3-1, to one, and the Raptors ended up capturing their first title in 2019. So this is where it leaves us now, guys. I can't wait until this Clippers-Suns playoff series where you finally have a healthy Kawhi Leonard and a healthy Kevin Durant going to be going at each other's throats for 35, 36, 37 minutes a night. Kawhi Leonard is most likely going to be matched up against Kevin Durant defensively and vice versa. So I absolutely can't wait for this series. I think Kevin Durant's going to absolutely ball out. But man, I know Kawhi Leonard with the worst team with Paul George out in this series for the entire series. I know Kawhi Leonard is going to be going for that throat and be going for that kill. So I can't wait for the series. I think the Suns are going to win this series pretty convincingly in my opinion. But man, the Clippers are extremely chippy and I think they've proved that the last couple of playoff runs. So I can't wait for this narrative. This is a matchup that's a sneaky forgotten matchup in NBA history. Kawhi Leonard versus Kevin Durant. Can't wait for it to happen. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.